Welcome to Samstar Games, the place to find new strategy games. And I asked you a couple of weeks ago in a poll, whether you play games in your native language or whether you play them in English or what language you play them in. And the thing is, if you're from a country like mine, like Czech Republic, most games just will not be in your native language, no matter how hard you would like them to. So today I present you with a game that's in every language out there, which I think is just epic. It's in every single one. Now this game is brought to us by the same developer who made Adam the Robot World. So at the end of this video, there'll be an end screen for that game. It's sort of like an RTS game with city building part. So it's a pretty interesting game. So big thank you to the developer for giving me a key to this and for continuing to work with me. <laughs> Which means he's giving me a key to a second game he made, nothing at all. And, uh, well, how is it that this game is in every language out there? Well, because this game has absolutely no text. And what does this universally understandable game is about? It's about infecting things with a virus. <laughs> Which I think is kind of epic. So... You've got this little time. No, so there's no text. So I had to understand just by playing. We're starting on level six. I did the starting so that I could understand and explain it to you in English. So up here we have a timer in which we need to finish the level. If we don't finish it, then we have to redo the level. And in order to win the level, we must infect all the green or any other but purple colored balls with purple. The way we do that is we have these purple colored balls. And every time a purple colored ball with this black thing hits a green one, it will make it purple. Now, it will also lose the black thing. The black thing is kind of like infection, okay? We'll call it infection, black infection or something. Uh, over time, if a, if a ball is purple, which means it's infected, it will get the black infection, which it can then put and infect other um, balls, like the green balls. Then we've got these little sort of separations, which we need to sort of like uh, pay points to remove. So we have 10 points and we can pay them to remove one of these. And... How do you get these points? Well, you get these points from time to time from any infected ball you have, including the purple one, not the one that don't have the black infection, okay? So let me just do it. We're going to uh, remove this separation. We're going to try to infect this one. And you can see that we infected this already. And over time, we're starting to get these little points. As you can see, they fly over there. And once we get enough, we can break the separation. So next thing I want to do is I want to break this big thing because that's going to give us a lot of, lot of points. So let's wait for that. Okay, now, so we break it and now these two are going to hit. I mean, you can see every time it hits the green, it will lose the sort of black infection, but over time it gains it again and allows me to hit uh, the other balls. Now, because we have now more infected purple balls, we can actually hit a lot of these other ones a bit easier. Right, so we can break this and now we've got six seconds to infect that one, which we did very easily. So we did it. It seems like five seconds is not much to spare, but actually is. Now, this is a special thing. This is a healthy cell, and it has sort of like protection. These two green things are sort of like protection health something. <laughs> we do not use proper biological terms. I'd like to point that out. So these are these doing things. And essentially, if your purple thing hits the green thing, you will lose the black infection. They will use the green healthy defense. And uh, you need to have to hit them enough times to destroy it. However, their healthy thing regenerates just like your black infection thing regenerates. So you got to kind of have a lot more of your own infected balls to actually be able to destroy them. So just the way it works now, it's not, not going to be very easy. So we can see that we are not doing it. And because, yeah, so now we got the regeneration, but they did as well. So we are unable to essentially infect it because it's stronger than we are. You can see, but now that I can break this separation, I can easily destroy it. And now it doesn't have the, any health, but even if it has no health, like if it was just yellow, it would still sort of regenerate it. So we want to watch out for that. So that's why, for example, here, we need to use our points to destroy this thing, because if we destroyed the other one, we would never be able to infect them. We would essentially lose the game. So that's pretty important. Yeah, so we are just infecting them as much as we can. Okay, let's open this. Sometimes you don't want to open it too soon because if you do, then what could happen is that um, you lose all your black infections and you can't really hit them fast enough. But it should be alright for now. Got 16, yeah, 16 seconds to go. Very, very nice. Move to level 9. Alright, so I think we're going to start over on the left so we can get as many infected balls as we can. 
And we can also pretend that maybe we are the healing ones and they are the infected ones, but the game is called Infection, so I assume that we are the bad guys. Again, there is no text in the game, so it's open to interpretation, or you could read the Steam page and, you know, learn from there, but... We are gonna take it as an open for interpretation kind of way, and we are gonna be the, the, the evil guys. We shall infect the whole world with, um... With white teeth. Yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> Something. I don't know. That's the first thing pop into my mind, okay? <laughs> it's actually not a bad infection. Alright, uh, wow, that's actually pretty rough. I don't know if we'll make it. They have 15 seconds, but there are a lot of healthy cells, so it takes a while before we can destroy them all. Yeah, 10 seconds to go. Alright, but only two to two left. Come on, come on. You can do it. No, 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 no. We won't make it. Oh my god. We didn't make it, it was just because of the- oh, oh, no, 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 sorry, we gotta restart this, that was a mistake. Alright, how can we do this? So the left thing, we got it. Let's go down, because that's where the least amount of these ones are. What I don't know is whether you should open it all at once or not. Thinking not, because you lose a lot of these black ones. But... Then maybe here? Right, can we do it this time? I think so. Yeah, this, yes. Still not sure what the answer was, but we did it. That's the whole point. All right, let's go to the left here to get all of these. And then... We probably want to go down next to destroy these healthy ones, and then we'll go to the right. So, like, around now. And then when all of these are infected, we'll wait a little bit. Now, we'll do the other one. Yeah, this should be alright. This should be fairly easy. Yep. Yeah. Fifteen seconds to go and only three balls that are still healthy. Right, come on, destroy the yes. Very good. Ooh. But go to the left here. Now some now important point here is that you don't actually have to destroy all the separations if you don't want to. So, for example, we could do this, and then we could break this, and we do, wouldn't necessarily need to break this separation unless it's, like, really important to us. The problem here is that, like, we can't really hit the other ball because we're kind of hitting each other. So I'm going to have to just start a separation, but it wouldn't be, like, completely necessary. Yeah. Four seconds to spare. All good. Twelve now. And right, let's go to the right here. Get all of these. Then I'm thinking left, obviously. But then do we go? Because it's going to be difficult to go down. I think we go to the sides. We'll go down last. Yeah, let's do this one. Because this one, there's a lot more of those here than there. Maybe now we go down. Because we don't know if we can get down. Like, they need to fit into the right space to get down. Then we'll do left. See, like, the problem is we're not getting down. Yeah, I don't think we'll make it here. So we're going to have to do it again and go down first, I'm thinking. Because right now we just don't have enough of these down there. So, I might get lucky. Come on, just that one ball. Touch it. Oh, no, we won't make it. Okay, we'll try this again. <laughs> we'll have to go down first. So maybe then. But then we're going to have a lot of balls down there that we don't really want to have, but we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. So let's go down now. Or at least open it and see if something goes down. Then we'll go to the right. Okay, we have two, three, but okay, that's good. Yeah. So we handled the bottom now. That's okay. It was important to go there first. I wasn't sure. I was like, I want to go to elsewhere, but like it, it was necessary. All right, 17 seconds left, level 13 now. So this is interesting. This allows you to push balls in. So essentially you can just like push a ball inside 
And these are going to regenerate points for us so we can keep pushing more over here because as, as we've sort of tested out before, one ball by itself is not going to do enough damage. But these extra ones hopefully will. Yes, very nice. Level 14. Push. Oh, we actually should have destroyed this instead, instead of pushing you on in, but that's okay. We might want to start pushing some more in because we need to destroy all of them. Um, in fact, all of these before we're going to open this. Otherwise, it's just going to be more difficult for us. And we should have enough. Yeah, maybe, maybe now. Now is good. Yeah. Plenty of time to spare. Okay. 14 seconds to spare. Very nice. Level 15. All right, we'll start over here. Get all the green ones because those are easy to get. Then we'll open it up. Come on. Come on, give me enough points. More points over here. Then we'll open this. I am wondering, I mean, there's no point. We would have to put like two or three, which would be really expensive. So let's just keep moving to the right through the upper parts. Open this as well. We'll push some inside here. I think if we have like three, we should be able to do enough damage here to actually start infecting them. Maybe four. I could also open it upwards, but I just want to kind of test it out. Yeah, so they have no more healthy ones. Yeah, good. So we didn't even need to open this separation, which I think is kind of cool. Oof. Let's go to the right, left. There's more of those there. Then we'll go to the right, get all the green ones in there as well. Open this whole space. Let me try to push some of these inside. No, it's not going to work. We're going to have to start opening these, these other sides. Let's open this one. And this one as well. And we're going to try to keep pushing new balls in. I actually don't know if we'll make it. Because... Well, oh, 15 seconds to spare. We've got quite a lot of people. But you can see this is getting super expensive now, like 46. But we're going to do it anyways, because why not? Yeah, we should be able to do that one. Yeah. With three seconds to spare. Well, I think we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can click on the right top to watch Adam the Robert Pearl, which is a game from the same developer. Or you can click on the right bottom to watch Periodic Deliveries. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.